Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be reviewing Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Finally got to this one. I've been re-watching and reviewing all of the Mission Impossible movies in anticipation of Fallout, which comes out at the end of this week. So I got this one in just under the wire. Uh, and yeah, so let's just get right into Rogue Nation. So first things first, we get a couple of people coming back from the previous movie. We have Simon Pegg has kind of been incorporated now into the cast. He showed up in Mission Impossible 3 and he's been in them ever since and he's going to be in the new one. Uh, we get Jeremy Renner who was in Ghost Protocol and is now in Rogue Nation. I know that he is not going to be in Fallout. Uh, apparently his filming schedule for Marvel got in the way of him being in the, the Mission Impossible movie, which bums me out because I really like his character. I think he's added a lot to the movies, uh, and I'm bummed that we're not going to get him in the next one. Uh, we also have Ving Rhames coming back, and of course Tom Cruise, the star, is back. And we also get the introduction of Rebecca Ferguson's character, and I think that she's a good addition. We start off with uh, Ethan and Simon and um, I don't remember Jeremy Renner's character's name, but Jeremy Renner, uh, they are trying to stop this plane from taking off with some nukes or some other sort of weapons, and this is the infamous uh, plane stunt where Tom Cruise is on the side of a plane and has to go into the plane, and I'll tell you the truth, that's the only part of the movie that I had remembered from previous viewings. So after that it was like watching a whole new movie for me. Uh, I liked the kind of the CIA basically trying to investigate uh, the IMF or incorporating them into the CIA and you get kind of a consequence for all of the other missions from the other movies, there's a, an investigation into whether or not the IMF are basically rogue agents that are kind of needing to be kept in check, and of course Ethan is uh, the, the star of all of the drama, and so of course Ethan is off hiding somewhere, uh, and he is still working, he has a uh, this theory, and this is the other new element that's been introduced, that there's this terrorist organization called the Syndicate, uh, very much like Spectre um, in the James Bond films, a group of people who are highly trained, uh, and as the movie goes on we discover that they're uh, former IMF, former CIA, former British intelligence, etc. agents that have been recruited into this program. And I think it's an interesting uh, addition. I like it. I like the, how it ties into Rebecca Ferguson's character. I, like I mentioned, I really like her character. I think that she plays kind of the double agent uh, role pretty well, and she's badass. Uh, the scene uh, where I think they're in London and uh, she and Ethan are trying to escape and they get separated at one point and then she basically kicks this guy's ass and kills him. That was really cool and I thought she was really badass in that. Um, but yeah, so you have all those elements, like I said, something new. I don't know if the Syndicate is going to be coming back or if it was something, it kind of was set up like it was going to be in future installments, but it might just be a one-off thing. But I liked that it might be this thing that reappears um, because it gives it gives the team more of a challenge because they're basically facing people that are trained just as well or better than them. Uh, the action, of course, is is as good as always. I think. Um, I don't know if Tom Cruise. I assume that he's been a producer on them for a couple of of uh, films at this point. Uh, but I know that he's very big on doing his own stunts and he's very big on doing practical effects and so I think that that adds to the experience. I think that it makes the films um, last a little longer. They don't date as much when you watch them later. So I like all the action. The story gets us back, it's kind of, they kind of do a ping pong thing. It's like in the first movie you have 
the spy element and then the second movie it's mostly just action and the third movie you get a little bit of spy element and then the fourth one you kind of lose the spy element again and then in this one you get the spy element back with like I said Rebecca Ferguson's character the syndicate finding out all about that so I liked that that was brought back in I still think that it's a little kind of like Ghost Protocol it's a little convoluted uh, and it's, at times it's a little hard to follow. I think it's easier to follow than Ghost Protocol, but I do think that it suffers a little bit from that. Uh, but I like that Ethan's on the run and that, you know, Alec Baldwin's character is, you know, looking for him and Jeremy Renner's trying to be the go-between and trying to give Ethan, like, the heads up that he needs and, but also trying to, like, not let Alec Baldwin's character know. So, like I said, I'm, I like how all of that works. I think it it overall really works well as a spy action movie. Of course it's a great Mission Impossible movie, although I don't know that there are as many impossible things. The, you know, you have the one thing where he goes into the, the like underwater vault kind of thing, um, but other than that, it's really kind of mostly just clever spy stuff, and I and I like that. Um, that's kind of how it was in the first movie. You have kind of the big impossible mission thing, and then the rest is trying to figure out this puzzle. So final thoughts on Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I like the action. I like all the actors. I like the story. I really, really like the introduction of Rebecca Ferguson's character. I like that she's coming back for the next movie. Uh, so I am bummed that we're not going to get Simon Pegg and Jeremy Renner working together. And even uh, Jeremy Renner and Ving Rhames in, in this movie worked so well and they were so funny. Uh, so I'm a little bummed that I'm going that we're going to miss that in the, in the next movie. But it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I, I think Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is definitely high up there. I would give it four and a half out of five stars. So... If I were ranking them, I'd probably go Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 3, Rogue Nation, Ghost Protocol, and then Mission Impossible 2. That's kind of how I would rank them in terms of how much I liked them and how good I thought they were. So that's it. Those are my thoughts on Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. If you like what you are seeing, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. I do talk about books and movies on this channel, so if that sounds interesting to you, click that subscribe button, and comment down below on your thoughts on Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, and I'll see you next time. Bye!